Why do we look so small? I don't know, but we'll take it. It's fine. I feel like this is... Is it giving Christmas? Because I friggin' hope it's giving Christmas. I feel like it's giving... You need to wear glasses to watch this video. Anyway, happy Christmas countdown. <laughs> oh yeah. another video we are doing a QA and a today anyhow it's like a 70 30 split christmas questions life questions when when are we having kids questions oh no no i'm just rocking just it, messed it up. No, i was rocking it good okay anyhow uh, make sure to watch till the end of this video because obviously we will have our christmas giveaway which is really fun it's and not gonna be at the very end though so you have to stick through the whole thing so don't skip to the end that's what you need to do okay because you get those people Oh, no, no. no. Oh. those people that just skip to the end don't watch the video. Yeah, who do you think they are? Just so they can get a giveaway. Silly, silly people. No. But yeah, all the information and stuff will be linked down below. Whatever, whatnot. So excited. We ordered a Nando's, which is very unlikely. I'm not a massive fan of Nando's, but I have to I'll beg take her it. to get Nando's probably. And with... she came up with the idea. Well, if you're gonna do me this favour and you're gonna help me film, I'm obviously gonna reward you back. We've got some garlic bread, I've got mashed potato, um, I ordered a wrap. I also ordered a wrap. Also ordered a wrap. I've got extra hoodie mia mags, absolutely love it. I have lemon and herb. Don't at me, it might be basic, but we're moving on. Oh! Yeah, no, they just come off. Cheers. Obviously, ask you a lovely lot on Instagram. And we have got the first question, some question. What are you asking for Christmas, babe? You know what? This is actually my least favourite question to get asked every year. I hate this question. I don't want anything for Christmas. To be fair, I do get it because I, can't, I don't... I, w I don't really ask things for Christmas because if I'm honest, I've got not a clue myself. Also, I just think it's rude. I, I know it's Christmas, but it's, even if I did want something, I wouldn't want to say it. I just don't want anything. Though, like, like, I don't I, like I get, Christmas I get that when much. it's like of a younger kind of thing. Mm. You write your Christmas lids or like, you're like, oh, mum, like, I would absolutely love this this year. I don't think that's rude to say. Mm. I think a lot of parents genuinely would like the guidance rather than going out there blind eye. And I know it's really good like to know. That's why I ask everyone what they want for Christmas. It's just easier. Otherwise, you just waste your money. I love Christmas. I love I, I love giving. I love receiving. Chad. You love that. <laughs> but no, there isn't much that I'm like asking for this Christmas other than, I mean, parents, if you're watching, I'd appreciate a new suitcase. <laughs> new suitcase? Yeah, I really want like, I feel like. To be fair, you use I, mine all the time. Yeah, right? I hate having like carrying bags. I'd rather just have a really mini suitcase and I don't have one. This is one on eBay. I'm going to link it down below, mum, just so you, in case. <laughs> But no way you're actually going to link it down below. No, of course not. I was going to say, that's so funny if you do. But there's this like Romoa dupe. Do you know what Romoas are? No. Nope. Okay, so Romoas are like £700 suitcases. Mm -hmm. But there's a dupe on eBay and it's really gorgeous. It's like the silver one. Nice. I'm asking for a suitcase. Jed's asking for love and hugs. Moving on to a non-related Christmas question. People asked, how did we find moving in? Were we like on top of each other 24 seven? Was there a lot of arguments? Did, was it a pleasurable experience? Was it awful? Did Jed absolutely hate me? You know what? I am so mind blown how fast it's gone. Mm. I was saying to myself, me and Imogen have nearly been moved in for like, well, been moved in for six, seven months now. Do you know how nuts that is? It's five, six months, but yeah. Still feel like we're in our second month. Yeah, it, honestly, like time has absolutely blown by. When we first moved Crazy. in though, we moved in and it was like mid-summer. So I wasn't like at dance college yet. And say like I removed dance college aspect from my life, like my full-time job would be like a social media content creator, same as Jed. So us doing the same job, the only thing that we did find is that the job sometimes involves you to be in the house a lot, whether you're filming or you're doing other bits and bobs, emails, like you don't really necessarily have an office unless you personally go and rent an office yourself. So we did find that like, at certain times we'd be very on top of each other because moving to London, Jed obviously didn't bring his friends from Brighton. So when you first move up here, he didn't really have anyone to like go out and be with. So it was very like that mm. we were together a lot 24 seven. And I think to be fair for any relationship, I don't think that's fine, but it's also- I don't, well, It's not I healthy. Would, yeah, need, it's not healthy time. to be on top of like, someone 24 seven. Don't get me wrong. I, I, well, I love it when you're at uni sometimes. No, everyone loves that. Like I love my me time. I love a bit of self-care, switching off from everyone else, chucking on a film, just being by myself, which is a personally fine thing. Like if you're thinking, oh God, like I feel like a bit suffocated or I feel a bit like they're on top of me 24 seven. Like it's fine to just be like- And you can't just ask them to leave the house, you know what I mean? No. And you just leave for a day. So to be fair, like that's where dance college kind of works out perfectly. Cause I'll, I'll be out nine till five and then I'll come home and I've got this excited puppy at home. Like, oh my God, you're home. But basically I think what we're trying to say is that it's amazing moving in together. Like we absolutely love it. But we did find that we were getting on top of each other like every now and then when like, ah! We both, ooh, when we were both like in the house a lot. Do you, do you like living with me? It's alright. 
I probably prefer it by myself. Next question. I'm joking. Dad, you're horrible. No, I, I do really enjoy it. So, people are asking about how we're spending our Christmas. Um, Imogen's going to go back to her family, and no. I'm going to go... Why are you saying that? What? Like, Imogen's going back to her family. We're both going back to each other's family. Yeah, and then I'll have to say, then I'm going back to mine. Yeah, we're having a mini Christmas She doesn't let me finish. She doesn't let me finish. I asked her, do you want to answer this question? No, 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 you answer it. As soon as I answer it. No. This is I'm actually too much of a chat box, so I'll actually say You that. are. I I'm really am. You. That's I why I excited. said you should answer this one because yeah. you wouldn't let me. Knew it. We're having a mini Christmas together. Well, like, I don't... To be fair, we don't know what we're doing about our present situation this year. We mm -hmm. don't know whether to either book a holiday or, like, do our Christmas presents but, like, not spend a lot of money because we'd rather spend it on us travelling because that's what we want to do when I break up from uni, which will be, like, July time. But we'll be doing, like, a fake mini Christmas. We're also hosting our first Christmas party with some friends of Judd. With some friends of Jed's, oh my god, I can't eat. With some friends of Jed's. From Brighton. <laughs> Which are also my friends. Now, they have no say about it. They don't like that. <laughs> they always tell me, like, please tell Imogen to, like, just chill today. What? I don't know, I'm just chat rubbish. I know you are, but it's not mine. And then, I'm like, we said probably, like, the 19th, 20th. I actually said this to my mum, I was like, I'll probably come back on, like, the 19th, no, 20th. Just... It's a bit early. It's like, blind me. I thought she was going to be like, oh, no, come earlier. We missed you. She's like, a bit early, innit? You're probably thinking, like, why don't you just both see each other on Christmas Day? It's because, like, if you didn't know, we are long distance. Mm. So it's really hard to go from Nottingham to Brighton, which is Especially about, like, four Christmas hours. Day. But Christmas Day. Well, are they even running? No, trains don't run Christmas Exactly. Day, like, yeah. I'm not even sure. It just doesn't work. So we do have to kind of make a call on where we are spending Christmas, whether it is in one place or the other. And we're just both not ready saying, to like, leave our family. Yeah, we'd love to spend Christmas together, but I also think it's personally for me anyway. My family, with my sister, she's travelling around the world for a year, so she's not coming back for Christmas, which is really sad. Which means it would just be my parents, and I'll see our grandparents coming down from Wales, which is going to be so, so fun, really amazing. But for some reason, it just breaks my heart to think that my parents have lost both of their daughters in one Christmas. Do you know what I mean? No, I get that. It just makes me sad. Mine's just, do you know what, I, I, absolutely, I will love Christmas with you, you just but love I love yeah. Christmas with my family. Which is I mean, fine. It's so good. I love so. Christmas with my family. So it is a bit of a tough decision. I feel like we'd literally be able to see each other both on Christmas Day if we lived in the same town. Mm. But we don't, so. And the thing is, though, is me and Judd, we feel confident in our relationship. I'm going to say that for the brave part of us. Do you feel confident in our relationship? We've got a good, good few years to come. Yeah. All the best of our lives, we'll see. But don't rush to so spend yeah, Christmas no, together. Yeah, there's you know no I mean? rush for it. Especially because we have our own place. We've got our own Christmas tree. We've had all the Christmas fun, all the bits and bobs. Yeah, exactly. We'll continue to have it. And then, favourite TV show right now? Ooh, rock, whatever. Yeah, right now. Uh, Most recent TV show. The Winch. Was. Jed really liked the Winx fairy saga. <laughs> yeah, bang on that. That was good. You know what I'm really enjoying recently is Wednesday. Yeah, we just started watching it. It's actually, it's, it's weird because I watch it I think this is a load of crap. <laughs> but I also want to continue watching it. I don't know what is wrong with me. It, it feels crap, but I'm also loving it. We both heard of the Adams Family. Well, you, not so much. No, I've never heard of it. I have. I've done like, what's it called? We did like a musical theatre workshop dance type thing to the, you know what? I've actually never seen the musical or the movie, which is actually really bad. We should probably watch that. But either way, it's about Wednesday from the Adams Family. <laughs> Duh. But so it's actually really good. How do you guys get over arguments? <laughs> Go on, Imogen. Of course you do you explain. <laughs> That's the one question I'm choosing. Of course you picked that one. I let Jen pick um, out of the rest of the question. So. Actually, no, no, no. I'll, I'll give you a demonstration. I'm Imogen. Right, say something to me. Babe, like, I've sort this out. Babe, please, let's sort this out. Come on. <laughs> she just doesn't, she literally gives me a silent treatment for about seven hours. Okay, so, we, for a starter, we don't argue that much. But when we do argue, it's not huge. It's not like, oh my God, I've got to rethink our relationship. Like, oh my God. I think, if anything, the biggest arguments we've had are literally over the most stupidest stuff. <clears throat> like, genuinely, just straight up dumb. But I'm... Word, but I like to use. I would say I'm very like Stubborn. I mm, yeah maybe. If someone puts me in one mood, I really struggle to just jump to another mood. If that makes sense. So like, same thing. Should have argued. I'm a bit upset, a bit pissed off, all of the above, a bit angry. So I'll very much like once the argument's happened or it's mid argument, I basically just shut down and I will sit there and not say anything. Not because. I don't want to talk to Jed. I just physically can't formulate words. I would love to literally be like, okay, we've talked about it. We've gone through it. We're, we're both fine. Like, let's snap out of it. But I can't. Like, I really struggle to, like, jump moods. So, like, say we fixed everything. I'll still just be a bit, like, in myself, a bit of a shell. I'll just kind of, like, not really say much. Like, it'll be fine. Like, obviously, we sort things out because, I mean, we're here today. 
but because <laughs> of me guys oh okay good <laughs> i do it to everyone like it's not just jed i mean i don't really have any arguments with other people can you just zoom in on your face and that whole bit i was eating like a really messy guy then like not really say much like it'll be we do get over arguments like i think the best thing is communication i just quite frankly lack on that behalf i feel like i can be a therapist to some people but she is in pos i i she tried has a name she is getting <laughs> called she for this argument and joking yeah. it's not an argument she's talking i feel like i can get through to anyone but imogen i got it from my mother <laughs> it's just it's not right it's honestly it makes no sense. Oh, oh you've got mash on my toes. There's one thing from a Christmas dinner. What would you pick, like, as your favourite? Pigs and blankets. Really? Ah, uh, roast potatoes. Ah, oh, <laughs> roast potatoes. Do one I? Thing. No, roast potatoes are like. I think mine's my between. Favourite thing. But a Yorkshire a stuffing, a roast potato, <clears throat> or a pig in blanket. Okay, next question. Have we thought about kids yet? I mean, we've got eight months. Then we got one. No, that's not. Me and Judd love kids. Well, that's and do you know what? I keep getting advice. like huge baby fever at the minute. Um, my TikTok is full of babies now. I don't know what's going on. I think Christmas time and babies in like their little onesies. It's just so cute. D kids don't like me. I genuinely think I really struggle she with kids. She is really awkward. Kids. I don't know why. I don't know what to do with myself. Like, to be fair, I get on with Harlow and Lake. Certain things I say, I'm thinking, why the hell am I saying that? It's just, she tries to seem so... I try to seem so fun. No, to be fair. Yeah, but one, no, one thing, no, one though. thing I would say is I don't talk to kids. Like, you know people say that you have to kind of like downwards converge and you've got to speak more like slowly or like less words. I don't. I just speak at kids like I normally would. And I think that's like my problem. I also try to speak a little bit more sophisticated because I think that's me trying to speak. Yeah, Imogen trying to sound like younger will somehow make her seem really posh and older. I don't know what I do. Baby's fine because they don't talk to you. You can just hold them and say, boop. Cute. Yeah, see, I think I'm opposite. Like babies, I just get, I get so nervous holding babies. Yeah, and I think Jack I've got PTSD really, really from when, obviously, I passed out when I first held Harlow. I think I just get bad PTSD from that now. I don't know. I just don't trust myself holding a newborn. They're just too fragile. But yeah, I think because me and Jen are so excited to like go travelling and just like experience life together without children, I think we're very against children. Not against children, just against having children right now. Yeah, like, all I want is a dog. Yeah, a dog is like having a kid. I've heard from right. many people, and I fully agree. Last question. I'll be staying in London after this year's ends. Well, this is something we've been talking about recently, to be fair, because I feel like we have loved living in London. I've always said that I know that London won't be for my forever home, and I genuinely thought after the three years of being in dance college, I'd kind of be like done with the place. But if anything, for the last year, it's changed your mind because you've been living with someone great. But that's the thing. That's why yeah. you love London because Maybe. I'm here. Because you are my home. But yeah, to be fair, I didn't realize how much I love just being so high up. Like I honestly, I can't explain, guys. I did guys. not expect that that was what you were going to say. I thought like, oh, I didn't know how much I loved London. I didn't. Know how well, much Canary I love Wharf. Apartment. Like yeah, Canary Wharf. Like I just, I'm in love of Canary Wharf. Not me. Yeah. Anyway, I just <laughs> love how peaceful it is here. And you think London, and you think loud, busy. I don't go into that loud, busy area. Jed doesn't like going to Central. It's really I weird. Boy central. moved to London and then doesn't go into Central. I, like I, I have to beg him been to in, go in there. I, how many times have I been in Central? Once. Probably about twice. Yeah, once or twice since six months of living in London. It's a bit strange. And we're like a ten minute tube away. Thank you so much for watching this video if you have watched all the way through. Okay, hi, hello, it's me. Looking at, like another grease ball because apparently that is all I am able of presenting to you guys. Um, Obviously, I've just finished dance for the day. So I have just jumped on basically cutting myself off to tell you the winner of last video. And that is Jade Barnett. So congratulations. Happy Christmas winning. I don't ever really know what to say when I kind of announce the winner. I will get that sent off to you as quickly as possible. Hopefully you did see this video's emoji and hopefully you did enjoy the video. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching this far make sure to come and subscribe down below and if you did find the emoji make sure you message me on instagram um to enter